Hi, I'm Captain John Kaiser. We're going to talk today about rigging a coho killer, one of the most effective spoons for winter blackmouth fishing. It's uh, very deadly when the bait is very small. If you're fishing areas that have candlefish in them or small herring, it tends to be a very, very good lure. Now, I have a special way I like to rig mine up, so I'm going to share that with you today. Basically, I take my coho killer here. This is a stock one. They come in various colors, just like any other lure. As you can see, it's a very narrow spoon. And it's rigged with a split ring and a single sidewash hook. This one has the UV color with the polka dots on. Anything with polka dots is going to be UV. So it's, it's purple has been a really good color out here in Puget Sound. So we'll go ahead and start with that. All right, so here we have our coho killer. We're going to go ahead and start rigging it up. As you can see, it has a couple distinctive bends in it, which will become more important as we do the rigging on this and set it up to go. It has one single sidewash hook on it and a, split, and a, a solid welded ring. Okay, now I like to rig mine a little differently. I like to modify them just a little bit. So the first thing I do is I remove this solid welded ring and the hook that comes with it. And you'll, the reason will be really clear in a second here. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take a pair of pliers here, side cutters, and cut this off. Just go ahead and take that and save that hook for something else. Get rid of this welded ring. Now, I got my basic lure. What I have here to add to it is a split ring a small barrel swivel and a new sidewash hook that's with an open eye so I can go ahead and crimp that down. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a pair of split ring pliers, here's a pair from Shimano, and I'm going to go ahead and open the split ring up and attach it to the tail of this. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and I attached the split ring to the tail of it here and then I have a small barrel swivel attached. Now that allow it to rotate. So the last thing I'm going to do is go in here and just crimp this hook on. So I'll go ahead and go through the eye take my pliers, come back, bend that down so it's thing. At the same time, I'll come in here, I'm going to bend the barb down on this since we're not allowed to use barbed hooks. Oop, a little bit more. Okay, now that's down. Now I have this whole setup attached. Now what that will do is allow this to spin. So if a fish gets it, he can't tear it up. And also, when he comes up to grab it, the hook will tend to face towards him. Now what I've done though, by doing this is I've added more weight. Instead of just having a hook, now I have the swivel and a split ring on here and I've actually got a little bit bigger hook, a little longer hook. So in order to compensate for that, I need to bend the spoon just a little bit to give it a little bit more action. So if you look at it here, here's a stock bend on it. You got a bend here, and you got a bend here. So what I'm going to do is come in here and just accent that bend just a little bit by adding a little bit more to it. So about like that. So now I have a little bit steeper bend on it. Maybe just a little bit more on this one. There we go. And each time you catch a big fish, you're going to have to check this again to make sure he doesn't pull that straight out. But now, as this is fishing in the water, if a salmon grabs this setup, he's going to get it. It's going to be able to turn in his mouth and rotate around. And you won't lose very many of them. This is one of the most effective lures, particularly when there's candlefish around. Uh, this UV color that's in here. The purple seems to work really well, so does the army truck color. Great lure for uh, winter blackmouth, even kings in the summertime, but it's deadly effective when there's small bait fish like candlefish fishing down along the bottom, you know, just off the bottom. And we attach this to a flasher now. All we're going to do is take some 25 pound fluorocarbon leader material, tie it to this, and I usually go about 40 inches to a pro troll flasher, full size flasher on it, and that, that becomes my setup to fish. So we're going to go ahead and and attach this to a standard pro troll flasher. So you have here you have a ball bearing swivel. This is your narrow end, this is your wide end. Of course you want to attach your lure to your wide end down here to the ball bearing swivel. So this lure, since it has its own action, you can go ahead and run 20 to 25 pound test. Uh, fluorocarbon is recommended. It works very well on this type of lure, it holds up well. And then go ahead and run it down, tie it on your knots to your to your uh, spoon here give it plenty of action in the water and of course before we go ahead and put it in we're going to put a little bit of smelly jelly on that spoon so just go ahead and lather it up pretty good that'll give it a good attraction so now you got a little scent trail going in the water on top of that and this thing's ready to fish okay so we'll go ahead and put this in the water and get a look at it working in the water remember now flashers the way they work is they create sound in the water as this flasher rotates it's going to create noise. That's what attracts the fish. So you want this flasher to move pretty quick through the water. You're looking for a whoosh action. So if it's just barely turning over, you're not trolling fast enough. 
So pay attention to that. Make sure that, it, that you got it moving along at a pretty good pace. You want it to move like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, see what it looks like. Okay, observe the flasher now. You see how the, it's rotating, that quick action, that whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That's the action you're looking for. You want to see it turn over fairly fast. Then if you look back at the Coho Killer Spoon, you'll see it's turning in a circle, but it's also wiggling back to back sideways. And that's the action, correct action for that to work. So make sure that bend gives it that round circle and a side to side motion at the same time. Okay, so now we learned how to fish a Coho Killer. You know, like I said, when a, when the candle fish are in, go ahead, get this set up down on the bottom. You know, I like to troll it anywhere from the to two to five feet right off the bottom. I'll hit my weight on the bottom, bring it up about a foot. Maintain that, that bottom contact, and you'll find that for winter fish and catching blackmouth, you'll do really well. It's a, it's a great lure. Hope to see you out in the water. Thanks a lot.